Hey guys, this is KSP with Tape, and today you join me on the runway with my BD Armory style thing. This is a bomber I have constructed, and that is the Death Star. No, it just kind of looks like the Death Star. It's actually the moon, but that's not what this video is about. This video is all about this bomber, um, and those planes over there, because I'm going to be shooting down this bomber. It's actually quite similar to something I did a while ago with Burn Together, but Burn Together no longer works. So I will be flying both of these planes manually, something I've been doing for a little while just these last few weeks, and something I have seen a video on at some point, I've forgotten from whom, but it was awesome, and I made me kind of want to revisit this, because um, the last video I did on this was really fun. Um, but yeah, there's no burn together today, flying both of them manually, but this bomber is loaded with bombs! Um, not as many bombs as it used to have, because it used to have a few more bombs, some cluster bombs, but it made it very hard to fly, because it was far too heavy! Wow, I'm speaking fast, that's because this is the fifth time recording this. Um, <laughs> there are ten boxes of ammo um, uh, the, to power this Vulcan turret at the back, um, which is going to be shooting down the fighters which I will be flying, which will be trying to take this down. I say it's the fifth time recording this. It's not like I've recorded this whole thing five times. Um, I, there's just been a few failed starts. <laughs> one, the last one of which where this, bomb just, this bomber just disappeared. But anyway, let's take off. Um, is the shadow moving? Yeah, okay, good. That's great. Um, Alright, so this will get going. Um, the first thing I'm going to be flying is this high-speed interceptor. That and other planes for later. Um, I'll take this off first because it takes off very quickly because it's very light and has pretty decently sized wings. The bomber, however, is the opposite of that. It's heavy and has terrible wings. Um, yeah, I said it. You got terrible wings, son. But the thing you may have already noticed is this metal cap on the back of the plane. This is, well, it's effectively armor, because, um, well, be, well, because it works as armor these days. In the old days of BD Armory, um, once a missile touched anything, everything was dead, and everything was destroyed, and there was nothing that you could do, basically. Um, but now, they've nerfed it a bit, which is good, it makes it more fun. Um, so when a missile hits this, it doesn't necessarily destroy it. I have some plans to see if I can push that to the, uh, well, stop that from happening, make it break. Um, and it's also just pretty good against gunfire. Not a lot of gunfire, but yeah, it's pretty good because you're probably going to be attacking this from the back, right? Um, I'm just going to turn this Vulcan turret on so that it is a deadly force to be reckoned with. Oh, don't descend, you plane. Just stay in the air. Just, just stay in the air. I know you can do it. I've done this, like, a few times. Okay. Just step, 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 step. If you descend, I'll slap you. Oh, okay, good. Uh... <laughs> I was worried I'd switch back to the plane over there, which has happened a few times, which is very annoying. Are you going to stay in the air? No. Good. That's what I like to hear. Um, great start to the video, me just having a fight with my plane. Ugh. Just stay in the air! You stay pointing upwards. If you point down, I'm going to blow you up. So I'm going to... Just stay in the air! <laughs> it's pretty frustrating. Okay, just stay in the air. Just point upwards. I don't care if you go vertically. Just don't hit the ocean. Nah, I will take it down before it hits then. Okay, I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry you had to hear that. Me and my plane often fight. Um, because I'm insane. Um, team B, this will now be attacked. But you may be thinking, if you've seen videos like this before, you'll be thinking, but Peter, that missile will just destroy the plane. Although you probably won't, because I have explained why it won't. But yeah, hopefully, <laughs> if this works. Um, once I fire my missile, um, this, it will hit the back of the plane. Please work. Um, and won't destroy it. Um, oh yeah, see? <laughs> Whew, um, I thought it might actually, but it, oh fuck, my plane! Oh, it started to shoot at it. Oh, pull up, pull up. Okay. Whew, it's hard flying two planes that hate each other. Um, yeah, I think what it happened there is it hit that and just didn't explode or anything. But I reckon it damaged some of the internals. Nope, good. Um, hmm, I thought it would. Well, I will fire another one to kind of prove it, because I, I still kind of believe that it's not actually the metal that's doing it, it's that Vulcan turret. Although I pretty much, I, have, I think I have tried it without the Vulcan turret, so I'm 80% sure it's the, uh, um, the, the, the metal. Okay, you pull up, and let's watch this! Oh, nailed him! Okay, that hit from the top, that's the best way to take this down. Um, alright, well... That screws the video then, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, this isn't going to be too long a video. Um, it is going to be a bit of messing around. I am going to explore ways to kill this. The best one I've already explained, well, shown just there, is to attack it from above. Because, obviously, the back's quite well armoured, and it will shoot you. 
Um, but from above, you can just hit it, hit it in the thing, or get the engines. Although, this plane can fly once it's dropped all its payload and stuff with two engines. Or, well, it would preferably fly with four, but it probably could fly with two if it was already in the air. Although, I have to say, I would have difficulty landing it. Um, although I have flown it incidentally with five engines, because if I think I lost this engine, but then you just shut down this engine and everything's fine. But then, it, because of the different mass, it actually starts to yaw this way. Um, so then you can just turn this engine on, engine on a bit with a thrust limiter, and it'll re just counteract it. So yeah, I basically, I scienced. Um, okay. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> I clicked outside of the window. Don't click outside the window, Marty! I don't know why Marty, but... Well, if your name's Marty, it will still apply to you. Don't think they don't. Don't think they don't, son. Um, some guy called Marty is sitting there right now like, ah, ah, What the fuck? That's noise you'd make. That's, that's better be exactly what you said. Look, I'm, I'm watching you, Marty. Lawsuit. <laughs> My lawyer's sitting there shaking his head like, No, stop. 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 Um... <laughs> I don't know, this is a weird video, it's a weird day, quieting down. Um, but yeah, oh damn, I didn't set up the gun again. We'll do it mid-air. The gunner just needs to get off his ass and stop being a little bitch. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> don't say that to a guy with a gun. He'll shoot you with his gun, because that's what guns do, they're for shootings. Anyway, let's arm all this. Put it on guard mode. Um, okay, before anyone asks, actually, um, BD Armory, the page will probably be linked in the description. When you find the page, it will say point twenty-five, most likely. Um, it will work in point ninety. Uh, before anyone asks and says point twenty-five, it works in point ninety. No, it's fine, but it does work in point ninety. Anyway, let's attempt this. I know I haven't actually set myself to Team B, so it won't be wrecking me. Please work, as in not kill it. Working means not doing the murder, because then it proves my point. Yeah, good. Did it destroy some of the internals? Yeah, look. Um, you can actually see that it took out the ammo on the back. Uh, it does do damage, those uh, missiles are... That was another thing I kind of wanted to demonstrate a bit in... Oh, it's going down! She's going down! For the summer! Oh, no! Why aren't you... Oh, fucked up my pitch. Oh, wreck him! Wreck him! Uh, wreck him! Wreck him! Um, okay, I can get out of this. I can get out of this. I can get out of this! I can get out of this! I can get out of this! I can't get out of this. Well, let's go to space. This is a pretty good plane. It just like, you can just change its direction. I mean, as long as you're not totally dumb. I mean, you can basically just like, do that. And then the prograde will catch up with you. It's a very nice plane. Uh, you can find them on my Mediafire account, which I will probably link. But you can find many an interesting thing. Anyway, um, this still is... <laughs> um, I want to try and shoot it down with guns, basically. Um, and try some out some other missiles. Um, basically, uh, when that, the, the way these Sidewinders attack this plane is a, it's a good way. Um, they're not powerful enough really, or explosive enough, or whatever the measurement of deadliness for a Sidewinder missile is. Basically, they're not really good enough to break this armor. They don't have to break this armor though. Um, I've had success, as you just saw, um, by using, I think it's probably just modeled as a shockwave in the mod. That's how I do it at least. Um, and it breaks some of the internals or some of the things around. I think that, well, that broke some of the flaps on the wings, which stopped it from being able to fly because it redistributed the, um, the lift. Uh, you also saw that it destroyed some of the internal bullets. Um, and that's actually a pretty good way of doing it because you can off either offset the mass, although the plane's so heavy that that won't be a thing because the, unless you destroy all the bombs, maybe. Although the, it's a bomber, so it's meant to not have the bombs um, at some point during its flight. But you can knock out the weapon manager as well. I have actually fired a missile at the back and it's taken out the weapon manager. And that's a good way of doing it. Um, because, you know, uh, because then it can't shoot you and then you can just basically have, <laughs> have your way with it. But another good way of doing it is obviously guns because you have total control if you're a better pilot than myself. Um, you have total control over where the guns point. Um, so, yeah. So you can just, you know, fly around and shoot it. Um, so that's what I've been messing around with for a while, and you can kind of get a rendezvous, although I can't really rendezvous with it quite, quite as well, because I like kind of flying up next to it and just kind of rendezvousing with it. So I'm like right next to it, and then just murdering it. Um, I've actually had so I've got some pretty good footage somewhere of me like flying over a plane, shooting its wing off, doing like a barrel, not a barrel roll, an alien roll, shut up. Um, and taking a look at the, uh, 
uh, and taking a look at the plane as I flew over it. I'm about to get shot. Oh, I hit something. Oh, I hit an engine. Epic. Okay, shut. Oh, I want to try and shut down. There's no time. There's no time. This can fly like this. Open the cargo bay. The Germans. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the bombs. Drop them. We don't need them. Ditch them, Marty. Ditch them. Ditch the bombs. Yeah, that's how you do it. You want to get rid of the bombs if you lose power. Because you don't fucking just do the thing. <laughs> it's really hard to keep this in the air. And now I need to actually activate this engine so that it can counteract this your control. Basically, this is this was lucky. This is actually one of the more interesting things you can do. Uh, lucky this occurred. Sounds like someone's trying to shoot me. Do I still have a weapon manager? Okay. <laughs> okay, ZQ. Uh, okay. Are you still on TV? How has it not murdered me? Because I'm in front of it. Right. Right. Okay, now I've got to stay within like five kilometers because that is the load range in BD Armory. Um, I'm just going to do a circle or an S turn or something. One of the maneuvers I learned from Scott Manley. I think he did a buzz bomb thing. That's like, um, not the buzz bomb. Yeah, I think it was, code, like, not code name, but colloquially called the buzz bomb. I think it was like the uh, V1 or something. But this is, you know, a bomber, which will be shooting back. Well, has shot back a bit, but I'm going to actually get into the danger zone. Um, yeah, so this, as you can see, this bomb is actually pretty good. I mean, it's pretty bad at taking off. And not fun to land, although I have landed it with, like, as I've said, like five engines. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, is it even shooting at me? Oh, no, because I turned guard mode off. You take off. You guard mode. On. Guard mode. On. Oh, well, have it. Oh, what am I even saying? I meant to say full hover, and then I kind of said Valhalla, so it came out as Valhalla. Um, I don't really know. Sometimes these videos kind of start off like they mean something, and then I just kind of do random stuff. Um, okay, I'm going to dive bomb it. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to fall behind it and get shot. Good. Good. Oh, yep, that's it. Full throttle? <laughs> it can't shoot for shit. I'm, like, right next to it. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to get in front of it, so it's like, I can't defend myself. I'm trying so hard. I do actually have another plane to attack this with, which is interesting because it all it is also armored, but it's much smaller and it's actually quite cumbersome because it's armored and tiny. But it is actually a very effective plane for ground assault. I just want to see what it would do against this. Right! Uh-oh. Get out of here. It'll shoot me. It might be out of ammo. Not that... Oh! Oh! Man, that's what I get for calling it a little bitch, I guess. Oh my god, it just like beheaded it. That was so evil. This plane wins. Okay. That was evil as fucking shit. Okay, now this is just going to do automatic loops forever. Fucking evil ass plane. Alright, we're going to take this fuck down. I haven't really taken... Oh yeah, I did take it down twice. Because I blew it up and then I shot its wings off. Although, it did pretty well against me shooting its engine off. Only because I fixed it. Um, anyway. Anyway, I'm going to attack it with a different plane now. Because I thought that would be fun. Because I'm boring. Uh, no. I'm wonderfully interesting. Why else would you be here? I'll tell you why you're here. Because I used a clickbaity title and YouTube suggestions. That's probably why you're here. Statistically. Uh, but that's good. I, this plane, however, is carrying two types of missiles. The first type isn't really particularly good for attacking air units. Although I have had success in the past. You smart people who will be like, You're using Hellfires against air target? <laughs> yeah. Um... But I have had pretty good results with Hellfire missiles, which should be for ground assault, I believe. Um, I've had good results with them in the past against planes. It's also carrying Amram missiles, the deadliest of the deadly. Um, which I want to test against this armor, because I haven't actually tested it yet. So I will be as surprised as you. Um, and, you know, stuff. I think that plane might actually be faster than the high-speed interceptor. This plane... No, this plane um, is actually... Oh yeah, it actually is. It's insanely fast. This is um, also on my media fire, I believe. Um, which I will link in the description. If I don't, feel free to be like, Peter Burr in the description! Um, this has armor on the bottom, so it uh, its wings aren't armored, so you're still fucked. But you're slightly safe because... the Oh, this uses tweak scale, though. You will need tweak scale for this. Oh, shit! Okay, cool. Um, I'm just not going to turn the gun on for this. I just want to test out the Amrams. Um, yeah, this. so you can use this. For this, you will need tweak scale and BD armory, of course. Um, might be... 
a good idea to throw Kerbal Foundries in there as well, just because I often use them. Um, I want to see... Fucking target. Uh, I want to see if uh, this... Oh, that's a Hellfire Missile. Yep, that did it. Fucking hell. That was awesome. Yeah, see, use a Hellfire Missile. So, actually, if you're close up, a Hellfire Missile is way more effective, as it turns out. Um... I did not see that coming. I actually meant to fire the Amram missile, which I bet is even more effective. But yeah, so things we've learned today, don't use Sidewinders against a heavy plane. Use Amrams, because Sidewinders just don't cut it against this stuff, unless you're coming from above. Um, but if you're locked behind it in a chase of death, um, then you know. It'll, that um, ground assault plane, uh, the I think it's called like the HI Storm or something, if you're looking for it on my Mediafire account. Um, it actually, it's a ridiculously good plane because this turret is actually maneuverable. You can like point it because uh, it's on like a gimbal thing or whatever. Um, oh, fucking hell. Orbital velocity. Yeah, that's what I want. Um, and it also has armor. It can carry like missiles, bombs, anything you want. And uh, this is a third thing, um, but I've forgotten what it was. Oh, and it's insanely fast. Um, so yeah, you're probably not going to be, it's, that was a good choice for killing anything, basically. If you're attacking a base, you're fine, because, like, well, I did do a video where I used that, I believe, I don't really remember. Um, I think I did use a video where I attacked a bunker with that, and um, it was pretty good. It did pretty well, but it was, like, fighting, like, four 30mm cannons, which wreck anything. Like, you could be in, like, a fucking tank made of obsidian, and it would still kill you. I mean, four 30mm was a little excessive. And, uh, yeah, but it, it was better than not having it. Like, you could see that it was kind of working. Um, show weaponless, let's turn all this on. I should really just quick save with this on, shouldn't I? I mean, that would way more sense. Um, oh no! Oh, it's gaining on me. Oh yeah, because I'm slowing down. That'd be why. Uh, I also quite like the wing setup on these, um, on this plane. The, the bomber has a pretty sucky wing setup, but, you know. Uh, anyway, Amram missile, let's try this out. Um, oh, I should be on Team B to make it a little fair. Um, but luckily, if it shoots at me, I can just kind of point upwards and then fuck him, basically. Okay. Oh, but Gangnam Style! How's this going to do? Really well! Yeah. Okay, when you're taking out bigger planes, use bigger missiles. Lesson of the day. Okay, I am actually going to do a full run at this without missiles. Missiles are lame. They're lame. I'm going to do a gun run. A freaking gun run. I'm going to use the high-speed interceptor. I think. Um, although the high-speed interceptor is super slow. Well, not super slow. It's actually really fast relative to a car. Um, it's like, but compared to my other planes. This one included. This is a weirdly fast plane. Um, okay, wrecked. Awesome. Not wrecked. At the opposite of wrecked. I don't know what the opposite of wrecked is. Just tidied or fixed, I guess. <laughs> ha! Fixed! Get fixed, son. Um, take off. Take off the plane to go. Bill Kerman, you're still alive? Wow. Whenever I have, like, a battle series, I very... Do I just don't expect them to be alive. Like, the, the original three. I thought it'd be, like, long dead. Like, super dead. Like, I've destroyed so many boats and bunkers and things in this save. Seriously. Go watch my other BD Armory videos. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's take this off. <laughs> Subtly plugging other videos. Um, oh, oh, no. Actually, no, finish this video first. I want all the view time. Um, Dragon Black Gurgle Premier. That's how I ask Google for money. I actually call them up. I'm like, bro, can I have some, uh, so I gotta eat. Gotta eat, son. <laughs> oh, come on! This is a stupid wave. Stupid. Stupid. It's actually quite kind of fun to do this from the cockpit, because, I mean, that's like a cool view. Um, is this on Team, Team B? Oh no, it's not. Team Reister. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's so not what you want. Getting shot sucks. Um, getting shot actually really sucks. Just like, uh, I don't know why I was laughing. It's a better getting shot really sucks. Um, it's like on those films you see people who just get shot loads and like I'm fine. Oh, like games where you just kind of walk it off. I remember the first time I like met a soldier who had been shot. He was like, Yeah, no, I just cried loads. I'm just like, yeah, that's probably what you do. Oh, no! Oh! Yeah. Oh, fucking Jesus. 
Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh no, I'm in target mode, so I have no idea where I'm going and where I should be going. Good. Fucking point forwards, you fuck. Oh, good. Oh, I hate target velocity mode. Jesus, this plane's winning. We can't let that happen. One more run. The decider. It'll be the eye of the tiger and the thrill of the fight. Oh, it's really annoying when you're trying to... You're like, oh, I've got to control my plane. Oh, I'm in target mode. So I'm pointing, like, laterally or something. It's like, what the fuck is the push car? That's the noise I make when that happens. I get very annoyed. Oh. It's just because Carbon Space Program is not made for this. Like, it's just not made for this. Um, I ask too much of Carbon Space Program. It is still just one of the epicest games I've ever played. And it's better for space travel than gunfights. But it is fun to do it because it's a pretty good medium for it. Because it's like parts that can fall apart. And like your plane can like split into pieces. I think um, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good medium for most things. Um, okay, let's take off this. Not the plane. This plane. God damn it. God damn it. All right. My final attempt to take down this plane. Because I'm... I can't think of any references right now, so I'm just gonna kill a plane. Uh, alrighty, Roo. All right, okay, let's do the smat. Let's be all smat about it. Uh, you pointing in the right way? You're gonna stay pointing upwards? Cause I've had some issues with that before. If you fall down, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. You're damn right. <laughs> yeah, that's how I talk to planes. I I don't talk to planes. You talk to planes. You're crazy. I'm not crazy. Shut up. Anyway, uh, let's take this thing down. Let's take it down hardcore style. Um, hardcore style? What even is that? Like, there's, I guess there's hard style mixed, like, really hardcore hard, hard style. Uh, oh, up, 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 oh, not target velocity, you fuck. Okay, good. So I spent a while just getting shot because I was in the wrong velocity mode. Uh, good, I'm missing a front bit. Okay, first wa battle wound. Um, okay, you know what we've got to do? We've got to punch in. Okay, the analogy I'd use is if you're going to attack Mike Tyson, you don't hit him from the front because you're not going to win. You go up behind him and you hit him with a bit of wood in the back of the head. That's how you take down Mike Tyson. And that's my plan. I'm going to stay out of its gun range. I'm going to blindside it. And then I'm going to punch it in the head and run away. That's, yeah, that's, that's what I have planned out my fight with Mike Tyson. Um, don't you worry. Ugh. This would be really good if I had a, if I could point my gun without pointing my plane. That's the problem with mounted, uh, with fixed turrets. Okay, I'm going to try and get a relatively equal velocity. Um, okay. Drift in, drift in, sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak a Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to be right near when that gun starts shooting me. That won't be good for me. That won't be good for me at all. That'll be bad for me. That'll be the opposite of good. That'll be just really bad. Okay, come on. Vig <laughs> stealth flares. Um, I use flares for stealth. Okay, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Throttle down a tiny bit. I don't know why I'm chasing it so, like, intently, but I want to get right up to it without it shooting me so I can just get a really good shot on, like, a wing or something. It's already shot down, like, a bunch of my planes. Wrecked! 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 Okay, the plane has a right to defend itself! Oh, god damn! It's... I actually shot off two engines. That was so dumb. Oh, change to bombs. Do the procedure. I want to keep this in the air so it makes a better video. Drop the bombs, though. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Drop the bombs! Is my other plane okay? My other plane is... Why can't I drop the bombs? Drop the bombs! <laughs> okay, good. I've dropped the bombs. Don't worry, kids. I've dropped the bombs. Said George Bush to us. <laughs> Let's not say that. Um, okay, now switch guard mode back on. Uh, oh, God mode is back on. Sick. Um, I say sick way too much. Alrighty, Rue. Is that a bomb that just hit there? Alright, let's intercept this. 
Um, I almost said intradict. That's a elite dangerous thing, isn't it? You know what's you know what's weird about elite dangerous is you like I love the trailer for elite dangerous. You know why? Because like the gameplay is good. It's like a really it looks like a pretty good game. Um, not like the best of games, but it looks like a pretty good game. Um, and then the trailer though is it's all like ridiculous gunfights, like insane, like just people flipping around doing crazy stuff, attacking stations and things. Then you play the game and it's just flying for like 20 billion years and then you get interdicted once. I personally think Star Citizen is going to be cooler, but obviously Star Citizen isn't really a game right now. It's just like, well, it is a game. I mean, there's Arena Commander, but I think, oh, Star Citizen's going to be amazing. For God's sake, what is going? Oh, I bet. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I think I, I'm, I'm, I'm on Team Star Citizen, but obviously Star Citizen's being developed for future hardware and stuff. I th I'm actually thinking of buying, um, like, just like an Aurora or something on Star Citizen. I'm not going to go crazy, like, um, the thing is, I, I want to get into Star Citizen, but, like, the, some of the packages are, like, 14 grand. It's like, okay, I will get into it, but I'm not going to pay more than, like, a game should cost. So I'm going to probably get it for, like, oh, what's, what's the cheapest one, like, $45 or something? Um, so, yeah, that's my plan for Star Citizen. <laughs> Um, pretty soon when I got some money. Um, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, oh, I haven't got my guns prepped. I might just fire a missile, I'll wreck this fucking asshole. Yeah, but, um, I think they've started implementing the thing where it's not totally pay to win. Because obviously the pay to win thing, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. The pay to win thing that they implemented in Star Citizen initially was like a fundraising thing. So that's, you know, that's fine. I mean, obviously some people want to give fucking ridiculous amounts of money. But yeah, I think they've started to implement a thing where you can earn money to rent ships. Um, because while they're still fundraising, obviously they don't want people having all the ships and not giving them any money. Although, as they make the game more, I hope it's def- I, ho I really hope it doesn't turn out to be like a proper pay to win. I'll be very pissed off. Mm. Fuck you! Oh, I got him! Haha, -ha, wrecked! I think he's fucked, although I will try and rescue him. Um, can I fly with two engines? That would be insane. That would be too well built. Okay, can he? No, okay, it's kill time. Prep the missiles. Yeah, okay, that's how you do it. Basically, if you're trying to take down something like this, you find its weak spot or you just shoot it. Because shooting works well. Missiles, they kind of work. Wrecked. Not wrecked. He dodged. He is too good. Is it... Oh no, oh shit. This was dumb. Why did I think that was a good idea? What the hell just happened? I heard something explode. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. I will just switch to him if I'm going to lose him, because I care more about seeing how awesome that is. Oh, come on! Fire the missile! Oh, come on! No! Come on! I want to I wanna get, like, a final kill in. Okay, good, I'm gaining on him. Pull up! Pull up! Pull up! This could be so awesome! Mm. Come on! Come on! Live, Brutus! Live! I win. Yes! Nailed him. I've only done that twice. Um, wow, we're really far out. Well, whoever the hell coming. Holy, what the shit? What is going on here? Well, the game is glitched to death. Um, so I reckon I'm going to go to the moon. I, um, whew, this has been pretty, uh, pretty stressful. Um, Pretty good though, I think. I think I've had some fun shooting down that bomber in various different ways. So yeah, the conclusion of the video, if you want to take down that bomber, use big explosive missiles because the armor is really good. Sidewinders, sidewinders probably won't cut it, although if you do enough, they'll damage the internals enough that it will be a husk of what it originally was. Um, if you really want to do a fight, use guns. Um, or whatever. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.